day, Nigel here. You know, if you're looking for a new challenge for your scales, then why not try doing your scales in thirds? It's a brilliant exercise, and this is a good top tip for you, actually. Uh, a new thing to practice, possibly, if you've not done this before. Scales in thirds, dead easy. I'll show you how they work. If we start with an easy scale, like G major, where we go from G to high G with an F sharp, then all we do is we start on the first note, the G, and then we skip the second note, go to the third note, so G, B, and then A, C, and then B, D, C, E, D, F sharp, E, G, F sharp, up to high A, and finish on your G, and then to go backwards, same process, G down to E, F sharp to D, E to C, D to B, C to A, B to G, then you get one more, A down to F sharp, and we finish on G. So you can practice this all the way to the top of your range and all the way down to the bottom if you'd like to, but it's a really good thing to do. Should we try quickly together? Start on G. So the good thing about scales and thirds is it forces your fingers to do something which feels a bit more unnatural. And that's great because we're stretching our technique and, uh, and getting stronger and more flexible. So good luck with that and I uh, hope you find it useful. Don't forget to check out the lessons on, at saxschool.com as well. There's a bunch of great lessons in there that will really get you playing on track. Good luck with your saxophone journey. Good luck with your practice. See you on the next one.